amino acids. The vitamins and minerals are good for it. You have lecithin, you have chromium, picolinate. The picolinate now is very popular. And we have zinc. But we have to understand if you eat because you're upset, you eat because you're worried, you eat because you're happy, you eat because you're horny, you eat because you haven't had sex, you eat because you want to have sex, you, you, you have a problem here. Your eating is being controlled by someone else, by those people that do the commercials. We're going back to the old time remedies. That's what we need to do. Go back to those old time remedies, the old way of doing things, so we can be free, nutritionally free, from diseases of all sorts. This, of course, is the latest discovery in medicine. Um, it's the latest one <laughs> that you find in the health food store. This 3,000-year-old painting of um, what people call today aloe vera. There it is. This is what African ladies were using to treat their skin and keep their bowels regular. So we're going to go back to these foods, these healthy foods. We don't want to get into the mucus forming foods that irritate the skin, which causes inflammation. Inflammation causes the skin to rot. The rotting skin gets encased, forms pus. The pus forms bumps. The bumps form cysts and tumors. And we're back into all of this because we're eating food that causes what we call liquid manure, which you call mucus. And a lot of people have so much manure in their system that it comes out in the morning. So we get this liquid manure caked on our teeth, which we call plaque. And it gets all coated on our tongue, which we call plaque. That's liquid manure. Your manure is just backing up through your colon and stomach up to your mouth. And people just brush their teeth in the morning to get rid of the manure. They should really wipe their mouth with toilet paper, because that's what it's full of. So we want to get away from these mucus-forming foods, this meat, the dairy products, the starches, the synthetic sweeteners like sugar, and artificial syrups. Corn syrup is another name for white sugar, by the way. And aspartame is deadly. If you had a choice between aspartame, which you call NutraSweet, and sweet and low, take the white sugar. Because the, aspart the aspartame damages the nervous system, according to the Center of Disease Control right here in this Atlanta place. Another homosexual infested town that I go into, along with Washington, D.C. and Los Angeles. But nonetheless, we have these healthy foods we should eat, such as these vegetables, the fruits. I mean, fresh fruits, steam them. That, that releases the phosphates, which get attached to it when they use synthetic fertilizer. But lightly steam it. Eat your fruits and vegetables raw as possible. Eat dried fruits that don't have sulfur, which damage the nervous system, causes cancer. You want to get away from that. You want to eat melons, sea vegetables because of electrolytes, natural grains, especially spelt, S-P-E-L-T, and the kamut, and marathon, and all these natural foods. We want to get back to the way we should be. Understand if you're going to buy water, buy distilled water. Your body only uses distilled water. Your body does not use mineral water. It does not use spring water. Your body distills all water before it uses it. So buy distilled water. Take the burden off your system. But this is what we want to get back to. We want to get back to nature. So we won't be confronted with fibroid tumors and cysts and all this referred pain anymore, which causes a lot of damage to relationships. Because the lady's worried about her fibroids, the brother's worried about whether he's going to have sex, the lady's worried about the pain from sex, the brother's having too much sex anyway, now he knows his, his system is degenerating because the angle of his, of his erection is pointing down to the ground, which indicates that the reproductive system of the male is degenerating. And each person is degenerating, but no one is taking action. The action to take is to change the diet. The herbs can help you get to a change, but the herbs are not the change. The vitamins will not save you. The herbs will not save you. It's the diet, 